It's time to make your great escape And heaven knows you need a break Forget your duties, forget your cares It's good to get away Hey, I'm Rob Pavey, and we're here at the Sibley Mill in Augusta, Georgia. Uh, a lot of people in this town uh, go back and forth to work every day. They'll drive past this place, and they think it's just another old, empty textile mill, but it's actually a lot more than that. Uh, these bricks, these old red bricks could talk. They would tell quite a story. Um, unlike a lot of the mills in this area, uh, this was one of the biggest, one of the best, and more importantly, the, the very bricks that it was built from were salvaged from another piece of history that occupied the same site, the Confederate Powder Works. During the earliest days of the Civil War, uh, a West Point educated engineer, Colonel George Washington Raines, actually chose Augusta and the Augusta Canal as the place to, to build the powder works that was to supply all the gunpowder, a lot of the munitions that were to, to, to fuel all the battles of the Civil War. And after the Civil War, um, during Reconstruction, the powder works and the buildings uh, were abandoned and they were demolished, or most of them were demolished. And during Reconstruction, the Augusta Canal was widened. They were trying to make Augusta a bigger center of industry. And uh, along comes the Sibley family that thought this would be a good place to invest in a, in a huge cotton mill. And that's how the Sibley Mill was born. First thing the Sibleys did was they, they bought from the city of Augusta over a half million bricks that were salvaged from the demolished ruins of the powder works. And in 1880, uh, Sibley's daughter Pearl laid the first cornerstone when they started construction and the objective was to finish it in just a year, a huge complex like this. And, and as it was being built, according to old newspaper stories, it was actually a tourist attraction. There are even photographs, early, early photographs of the, of the mill that were used as postcards because they were so unusual, so unique. And as they built this place, they did a lot of things that you may not see at other mills. Uh, one of them is a type of architecture. It has these unusual, ornate red brick ridges that you see along the tops, and it almost looks like the parapets of medieval castles. Some people have compared it to the House of Parliament in London. And uh, from an architectural standpoint, those features are called crenellations. Uh, that's the word the um, American Architectural Engineering Survey used when they did a historic study on it and called it quite a significant place. 